Today we will try to draw the TS diagram for the pressure cooker. So just to save the time, I have already drawn here the TS diagram and I have taken here two constant pressure lines. One is at one bar pressure and another is for two bar pressure. Why have I taken these two lines only? Because one bar pressure is uh, for one atmosphere, uh, that is our atmospheric pressure and the two bar pressure is for for a pressure cooker pressure. Pressure cooker pressure because generally our pressure cooker works at two bar pressure. And as we know that the saturated temperature corresponding to one bar pressure is 100 degrees centigrade and the saturated temperature, saturation temperature for corresponding to two bar pressure is 120 degrees centigrade. Okay, as first we will, uh, first we will show actually what happens if we don't put the lid uh, or if we don't put the lid then how can we show the boiling process here and this is a very simple thing everyone knows because uh, as we have taken the water from the atmosphere so water will be at atmospheric temperature of the 30 degrees centigrade and now we start giving heat so the temperature of the water will increase okay now first the temp initial temperature of the water was 30 degree temperature 30 degree centigrade after getting heat the temperature will increase 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 and it will reach 100 degree centigrade we ha we have to be sure that cause everything is happening in open so the pressure will remain constant throughout the boiling process that's why we we can't uh, deviate from this constant pressure line we have to be stuck to this constant pressure line and once the temperature reaches 100 degrees centigrade now the steam formation will start and the boiling will happen okay now we see how can we show the process of uh, how can we show the pressure cooker process on the TS diagram now we uh, okay now we put the lid as you put the lid and in, as we know that initial uh, we have taken the water from the atmosphere the same will happen here now we start giving heat so the temperature will increase from 30 degrees centigrade to 100 degrees centigrade okay in the beginning we have assumed that the pressure here is the atmospheric pressure okay and much air is not trapped this is our assumption here so the pressure here is atmospheric pressure okay now we start giving heat so the temperature which was initially at 30 degrees centigrade will reach to 100 degree centigrade once the temperature reaches the 100 degree centigrade the steam formation will start okay now the real difference comes into the picture between an open lid boiling and the pressure cooker so now the temperature has reached 100 degree centigrade so the steam formation will start and uh, once the steam formation starts it will this steam will put extra pressure initial we assumed that the pressure was M1 atmospheric but after the formation of this steam this steam will also exert pressure on this water now the pressure will be more than what M1 atmospheric and the temperature of the water is 100 degree centigrade obviously at one more than one atmospheric pressure now the water will not boil at 100 degree centigrade and as the pressure of this uh, the pressure on this water has uh, changed so we have to shift our point first we were well, first we were on one atmospheric pressure line now due to this extra steam pressure we have shifted here obviously now the water will not uh, boil at 100 degrees centigrade you give heat the temperature of the water will rise okay and uh, it reaches corresponding to this pressure suppose now corresponding to this pressure saturated temperature is 102 as the temperature reaches the 102 again the steam formation will take place obviously the for more steam so more pressure again the pressure will shift and uh, it will so this way suppose we have the power and this way more steam is formed more pressure pressure will keep increasing and as the pressure increases the saturation temperature will increase so first water has to reach at that temperature then again the boiling will start so this way continuously pressure will be changing and so the saturation temperature 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 okay now now the pressure has reached two bar pressure okay and that pressure is corresponding to this vessel okay or that we can say the wall as the pressure reaches the two bar that pressure is sufficient to lift the vessel okay as the pressure reaches two bar pressure the and that pressure is sufficient as pressure reaches two bar that pressure is sufficient to lift the vessel so no more pressure will build up no more pressure will build up in the pressure cooker cause the, as the more pressure builds up that is sufficient to lift the vessel steam will come out as the steam will come out again the pressure will go down so we can't draw the straight line here cause here the thing will be like this fluctuation 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 cause as the pressure reaches more than two, uh, two bar as the pressure reaches more than two bar pressure 
and uh, that is sufficient to lift the uh, this vessel and uh, the weight of the vessel and the friction as uh, cause this pressure has to overcome the weight of the vessel and uh, the pressure uh, friction so once the pressure reaches uh, above that uh, whole uh, equilibrium point just beyond two bar you get a vessel this is a simple thing whenever pressure inside the pressure cooker reaches the two bar and you get a vessel and again the pressure drops then the steam formation starts and again the pressure reaches to two bar then again this vessel will rise up so this is a simple press simple thing which i have drawn so if you if you join all these points then we can show the pressure cooker like this and here this is an, uh, you uh, one thing is sure here this kind of fluctuation you will get these are the vessel actually when you get the vessel and pressure cooker you can show like it and now the one thing which is generally asked then what is the difference between the pressure cooker and the boiler the basic difference between the pressure cooker and the boiler is because in boiler the boiling takes place at constant pressure in boiler the boil in boiler boiling takes place at constant pressure while in pressure cooker pressure does not remain constant if we have to show the boiling pressure boiling process in the pressure cooker then we will remain stuck to this line constant pressure line throughout cause in boiler boiler is a steady in boiler that is a steady, boiler is a open system and their uh, steam formation takes place at steady state it means whatever water is coming that is equal the same if mkg of water is coming then mkg of steam is being formed in the boiler that's why the pressure in the boiler remains constant this is the basic difference between the boiler and the pressure cooker okay uh, if anyone thinks uh, if they, anyone has a, any objection regarding this um, diagram they can put their views on comment section okay thank you